The Pasig River has been our nation's river of hope and life since time immemorial. This remains the same even up to this day as the river continues to show huge progress undergoing tremendous improvements through the years since it was named biologically dead in the 90s by ecologists. Among the most noteworthy developments in the Pasig River is the overall improvement in its water quality. Water quality is the most important health indicator in any water body. As we know, water sustains human life and biodiversity, a critical piece in linking the Earth's lands, oceans, and atmosphere into one integrated system. Monitoring water quality is therefore essential to identify possible pollution sources and to develop the necessary preventive strategies that will address environmental problems and further improve the health of the Pasig River. The Pasig River Coordinating and Management Office implements various programs, projects, and activities to manage the water quality of the Pasig River system. One of the core programs of PRCMO is the Pasig River Unified Monitoring Stations or PRUMS. PRUMS is an interagency initiative which aims to monitor water quality through regular sampling at 19 monitoring stations within the river system. Samples are analyzed at the Environmental Management Bureau Central Office and data results will then be used as a gauge to sustain or improve current programs and to formulate strategic plans and policies to further the rehabilitation and sustainable management of the Pasig River system. Based on monitoring reports from 2009 to 2021, the fecal coliform count at the main Pasig River has been on a downward trend. In fact, this 2021 monitoring fecal coliform count was reduced by 42% compared to 2020 data. Further, biochemical oxygen demand or BOD concentration at the main Pasig River decreased by 51% compared to 2020 monitoring. Other major water quality indicators confirm the river's improving water quality. Nitrate, phosphate, and total suspended solids also decreased in 2021, passing the respective standards set for Class C water bodies. Moreover, dissolved oxygen increased by 44% passing the Class C standard of 5 mg per liter, which means that there is a sufficient level of oxygen to support and sustain aquatic life. All of these reveal the remarkable improvements the Pasig River has undergone, specifically in terms of water quality. Water quality improvement was also seen in several Pasig River tributaries, most notably in the Cluster 1 tributaries or the 8 Asteros located mainly in the Tondo and Binondo districts of Manila, which include Estero de Magdalena, Estero de Binondo, and Estero de la Reina. The average fecal coliform of these Cluster 1 tributaries plunged from 979,680,208.33 most probable number per 100 milliliters in 2020 to only 14,880,000 in 2021, recording a 98% reduction. These improvements could be attributed to the rigorous implementation of PRCMO-led programs and initiatives including regular cleanup operations, easement monitoring, survey and saturation of commercial and industrial establishments, coordination with local government units and other key stakeholders, and the water quality improvement projects in selected waterways that utilize bioremediation technology. After the success of the pilot bioremediation project in Estero de Magdalena last 2020, the PRCMO expanded the project in the same Estero last 2021 and was also replicated in three other priority tributaries, namely Estero de Paco, Estero de Binondo, and Estero de la Reina. In Estero de Magdalena, the bioremediation project resulted in the significant reduction of fecal coliform and TSS. Meanwhile, in Estero de Binondo, there was a recorded decrease in fecal coliform count. 
The most remarkable improvements were observed in Estero de Paco and Estero de la Reina. Fecal coliform, BOD, nitrate and ammonia levels decreased in Estero de Paco. While Estero de la Reina registered a drop in its fecal coliform, BOD, and nitrate levels. Indeed, we have achieved countless feats and major breakthroughs for the Pasig River over the course of two years since the PRCMO was established. But, our journey for the Pasig River is far from over. This is just the beginning of greater things to come and much work still needs to be done to fully revive and sustain the Pasig River system conducive for the propagation of aquatic resources, transportation, and tourism. Together, we are stronger for the Pasig River. Let's make every day count and choose to love our waterways, environment, and our nation for a clean, healthy, and safe future. Puso para sa ilog Pasig!